Today's Mass is a memorial for Monsignor John Kennedy. The reading today is from the Galatians, a letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? In, if indeed it was in vain, does then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? The word of the Lord. Amen. And the responsorial sim, psalm, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Words of the gospel, words of Jesus. That he's talking about, it seems, uh, prayers of petition. When we ask, we will receive prayers of petition. But, you know, people, I think sometimes, we people, we humans, get caught up in, well, you know, I asked for that. It doesn't happen. God's not listening to my prayers. <laughs> Do we think things are that, that simple with God, you know? that God would be mean to us, 
You know, where does that go in our heads when we think like that? I'm not sure. Um, it seems to me what one of the keys to this whole thing is the last sentence. How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? It depends on what we're asking for. Jesus is not saying, well, if you really want that McMansion or you want a Lincoln Town Car, you know, oh, just ask, we'll give it to you. I mean, does that make any sense to anybody? <laughs> Some people evidently it makes sense, which it doesn't to me. No, what we need is what we are to ask for. Not what we want or desire, but what we need. And, you know, God can give us our desires too. I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, but, but, um, but I, I don't think. But he's talking about our needs, what we need. And most of all, what do we need? The Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit more than anything else. We need the Holy Spirit, who we all have received at baptism and confirmation. But is that Spirit, have we allowed the Spirit of God to be alive in us? to be effective in us, to come forth from us? Do we allow the Holy Spirit to guide our lives, to remind us that God is with us all the time and the, receive the joy and the fruits of the Spirit through that? These are the things that God definitely wants us to ask for and receive without question. It, it's an opportunity for me to talk once again about my prayer cards. You know, I have these large index cards these are my prayers of petition. Uh, there's nothing in there about asking for big cars or big houses or anything like that. There's nothing like that in there. But they're filled with people's names for certain purposes. Uh, for healing. I think God wants us all whole for healing. Um, for people to come to a deeper faith or to come to faith at all. I've been praying. These cards are old. Some, I think I wrote them like 20 years ago, That this present batch, about 20 years ago. The prayers for those who have died, prayers for all of you every day, prayers for the people, the past parishes I pray, I, I've served in. All kinds of things are there. And I pray for at least one car a day, car a day so I get through them in a week. But what kind of things are there, you know? One of the things that are there is for people who, who it seems that they need a deeper faith, or they could use a deeper faith. There's uh, some atheists on there. I pray for them to find Jesus. There's, uh, there's a, at least one Buddhist in there that I pray that he finds Jesus. And just a little anecdote, uh, two of them have recently said, would you pray for this? Now, why would an atheist ask for prayer? Would you pray for this? And it, even the Buddhist, recently said, I need prayer for something. I go, oh, okay, sure. So what's going on? I don't know, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. And what all those cards do, no matter what happens, and some of them have been in petitions for 20 years, and, but still, it builds up our faith in God. It builds up our faith and trust in God that we're going to trust him with all these people and all these things, we're placing them in his hands. That's the joy, and that's building up our trust. And it really is built up when I get to cross something off one of those cards that I might have been praying for for 15 years, and I get to cross something off. Does that build your trust? It really does. So if you, if you need tr more trust in God, I think the prayers of petition are a great way to go. But remember what you're asking for. All those good things that you, I, and people need.